Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's up, gaming family? It's your boy, Gaming Jordan, back at it again with some more GTA Expanded and Enhanced news. I know it's been some while since I covered Expanded and Enhanced on this channel, but we just haven't had any valid information to drop, unfortunately, but now we got some new information regarding character transfers. So, yeah, I just wanted to cover that today. So, without further ado, let's get into that. So it seems that we got some new information from Tez Funds 2 over on Twitter, which we all know seems to be a reputable leaker within the GTA community. And it says here, in addition to GTA Online Expanded and Enhanced, featuring character transfers, Wild Brick 142 uncovered a new clothing category called Gen 9 Exclusive featuring exclusive clothing items for transferring characters to expanded and enhanced. This may be one of many bonuses Rockstar is planning for returning players. Now, that being said, I remember GTA Online going from Xbox 360 to Xbox One, and one of the things that we did get when we did that was like the Duke of Death. We got the Duke of Death free i'm one of those people that got it free because like i said i remember buying gta when it first dropped in 2013 on the xbox 360 when i got my xbox one i transferred it over and i got the duke of death as like an incentive of returning so also in my other video i remember talking about you know different incentives and different you know extra things that we were going to get the people who you know transfer our stuff to the new Xbox or the PS5 for, you know, as a, as a bonus for getting expanded and enhanced. We did need to talk about these things, you know, with vehicles. And I think the chameleon paint job was one. Remember, we covered that. And we talked about vehicle modifications. We covered that as well. So this seems to be another modification or and or exclusive incentive for buying, you know, expanded and enhanced. Also, regarding the actual trailer, you know what I mean, for expanded and enhanced. We should be getting something very, very soon because we do know that it's a public fact that Expanded and Enhanced will be dropping in March 2022. That's as of for the Xbox consoles. You know, it's still up in the air whether or not PlayStation will be getting it on time due to complications. But as for the Xbox consoles, we knew we know that Expanded and Enhanced and the GTA Online counterpart. You know what I'm saying? To this GTA Online that we're getting on current gen will be releasing sometime in March. So the fact that we're at the end of January, we can expect to see something at least, I don't know, maybe maybe mid-February. I don't want to say early February because that's still, you know, a little too early. But I would say mid-February. So look out for every Thursday in February for GTA to drop their trailer. You know, Rockstar dropped their trailer for GTA Expanded and Enhanced. And I say Thursday because that's normally when updates come out or any kind of news wire information. So yeah, I would look for it every Thursday in February, starting with the second Thursday in February, we could be getting a trailer for Expanded and Enhanced. So yeah, that's all I wanted to cover today. I wanna ask you all a few questions. Put down in the comment section what you expect from expanded and enhanced how do you want the graphics to look do you want them to be on pc level do you want them to be on gta rp level you know we have been it has been confirmed that you know 4k 60 is a thing and that textures is a thing so what do you want the textures to look like what do you want the graphics to look like what exactly are you expecting rockstar to deliver for expanded and enhanced you know for you know gta going into its almost 10 year anniversary you know what I mean? What exactly do you want from Rockstar while we wait for the release of GTA 6? Put that down in the comments for me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been your boy Gaming Jordan. I'm going to see you gaming family. I'm out.